And an alarming spike in the number of charges against people for possession of a machine gun. We told you about dangerous machine gun conversion devices when the Indiana legislature criminalized them in the spring. IT mates Cody Fisher found out just how many of these devices are being found on the streets. This piece right here on the back of the handgun is what turns it from a semi-automatic into a fully automatic machine gun. Now, since 2020, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office says they've seen a 5,600% increase in the number of cases linked to these devices. A machine gun conversion device turns a handgun from this into this. When you see those videos, you think to yourself, okay, we have to do something. These are realities of police work. These are the dangers that our officers face every single day. They're more dangerous than other guns because they fire off numerous rounds. They're more difficult to control, which results in these bullets could be going anywhere. You could reach targets that are completely unintended. In 2020, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office had one case with charges related to devices like this. In 2021, they had 10. In 2022, they had 47. So far in 2023, they have 57. We're going to continue to see these numbers increase. If you're ranking your list of priorities, where does this rank? Well, it's at the top of the list. The increase in the number of cases can partially be attributed to the new law in Indiana that went into effect in April. It criminalized the actual conversion device itself. Before the law, it was only illegal if it was attached to a gun. Before, there were times when we found 40-plus devices at one time, and there was little that we could do. And now that we know that we can get these devices off the street, we can make the community safer. In a lot of these types of cases, we are seeing them as more standalone possession cases uh, where we are catching someone before they are being used. Mir says a lot of the cases his office is prosecuting involves younger people. The last thing we need is young people with automatic weapons uh, in our streets. Since we're only halfway through the year, Prosecutor Mir says we are only going to see the number of cases linked to these devices go up. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, ITMA. To Hamilton County now.